update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. That mix is uh, with the trainees that are up 100 points. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. Six tenths for the Dow, 211 points. That is S&P's a little off of one, a little over 1 percent, 52 points. NASDAQ, one and seven tenths percent, 238. Russell, five points or a quarter of a percent. Semis at one and a half percent, 46 points out there. Gold's up 470, 1950 is the print. Silver, 17 cents, 25, even Stephen. Light sweet crude back, 396. 94.30 is what she is printing at. Natural gas up 36 pennies. 663 looks like a breakout and further higher prices for natural gas. Let's go spend a little time and take a look at our indice charts out here. Those will be populated momentarily. And in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see the Dow Jones Industrials. What do you know about the Dow? Well, today's going to be bar number eight. But that's not going to form a TD9 count unless we see a spike below the low from two days ago. And that low that you need to see a spike below is 34.190.95. Uh, and that needs to occur between tomorrow and by Wednesday if that is going to form a TD9 count bottom. In the case of the S&P 500, today's low will suffice. It's going to become bar number eight. It says you could see a bottom in the S&P between today and Wednesday. NASDAQ 100 is bar number seven. It says you could see a bottom between Tuesday and Thursday. That's with the TD9 count pattern. Bar number six on the Russell 2000, so it's got even further to go. Some eyes are forming bar number nine today. That says go take a look at the SMH. See what the volume is on the SMH, because what you'd like to see is you'd like to see it pulling back with light volume. Well, turns out that the swing point that it's going against was from the trading day of March the 14th. And that swing point had 11.7 million shares. So far today, you're at 5.4. So the semis are pulling back with light volume. That doesn't mean today's the day of the bottom. That could be tomorrow. Or maybe there's not one that forms at all, but you've got a bottom signal that's going to be present And when the cash market comes to a close for the semiconductor index. The transports, they are trading higher. I don't see a bottom pattern out there, nor do I on the New York Stock Exchange. New York Stock Exchange looks a lot like the Dow. And that it needs to spike the low from two days ago in order to generate a bottom. The NASDAQ composite, bar number seven today, that says it may form a bottom between Tuesday and Thursday. So there are your cash indices, folks. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, is up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a marvelous, magnificent Monday. Thanks so much for joining us, folks.